All right, I wanted to talk valve springs today and um, kind of go into some detail about that. We got a real interesting setup over here in the corner of the garage that's pretty much a bomb right now, so we'll get to that in a bit. But uh, if you don't follow my channel, I do some um, engine builds from time to time for other people and myself included, and they're a little bit more on the higher horsepower end of things. And uh, valve springs are really and a really important item to consider when you're going and slamming a bigger camshaft in and plan to run higher RPM. So uh, it's just one of the things that's severely overlooked. So when you put in a higher lift camshaft, you need to have a lot more stout valve springs. And um, just for the simple purpose of you don't want to have valve float at higher RPM, but also those higher lift camshafts are gonna have steeper lobe profiles. So when that valve closes, it's gonna close a lot faster. And if you don't have a stiff enough valve spring, the inertial forces on that valve will cause that valve to shut so fast and hit the seat and actually bounce open slightly for a second and close again. And these are all things that really hurt performance. So um, we're gonna take a closer look at valve springs today. So valve springs are really a tricky subject that most people don't even think about, and if they do, most of the time it's overlooked altogether. But I'm gonna try and put this in as simple terms as possible and as quick as possible, and uh, hopefully you have a better understanding here. So, um, with the budget build I'm putting together right now, I'm running a camshaft from Comp that requires these valve spring characteristics, a seat pressure of 110 to 160 pounds, and an open pressure of 300 to 370 pounds. So um, the, they have a recommended valve spring here. So it's first of all important to rec recognize these measurements here, particularly the seat and open um, distances. So these numbers are calculated from that height. So obviously when your valve springs are just sitting there, they're gonna be much taller than this. But when you compress them down and put your retainer and stuff on there, it's gonna be um, compressed more. And, uh, if you want to have these values, you need to be at these heights. So um, in some cases, on these particular heads I'm using, I have shims to get these valve springs right. So um, anyway, and then your open height, you want to consider your camshaft lift. So you're starting out at 1.8 and say you have a, um, a 500 lift camshaft. You're going to be at 1.3 or you can just go a little less than that and you're at 1.25 and your values here, you should know that you'll be good. Obviously, you wanna go a little past to make sure you can never get into a coil bind situation. So anyway, these are the recommended numbers from Comp, and like I said, this is a budget build, and these are some of the things you don't wanna get into. So I have an unknown set of springs that were on these heads, and someone's went through all the work to shim them to the proper height, so um, if I can use them, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. And uh, if they're, so I, I, they definitely have enough seat pressure. I've already tested that. They have 140 pounds seat pressure, so that's well within our range. But uh, I just set it to what the open pressure will be. So it's sitting right now at uh, 1.25 um, is the length on that thing when it's compressed. So this is about what we'll be at our highest lift scenario ever. And uh, anyway, this is important because if these are too stiff and my valve train components don't work out, it'll be much cheaper for me to buy, to buy these recommended valve springs over running these ones I have. So in this case, um, and this is very dangerous, I definitely don't recommend doing this. What I have here is a scale and some plates over to distribute the weight so the scale doesn't break. And uh, usually I had, a, I had a buddy who had a spring tester, but he moved out of town and um, took that all that equipment with him. So I kind of had to do this on the fly. But anyway, right now, compressed, get down here close to the bomb. Um, we see that we have 340 pounds. 